Good morning, St. Francis. It is Thursday, July the 8th, 2021, Thursday of the 14th week of the year. Uh, still on assignment um, in New Jersey, Long Beach Island, and as every good friary, Franciscan friary should have, so too does the friary here at St. Francis. I have a beautiful garden, uh, complete with flowers um, and vegetables, um, all blooming and growing uh, quite well. Um, it's only part of the uh, larger uh, garden that's over here um, on the patio side go through this without hitting myself in the head. Um, there's a clothesline. Uh, and, uh, and then here's the patio uh, where there's also uh, another beautiful garden uh, that's been put together. Um, uh, Father Steve is not the green thumb over here. This is Father Andrew's uh, work over here um, and Father Fran. Um, but uh, it is uh, a glorious day um, still, though it is uh, gathering uh, clouds and things like that for Elsa as she makes her way up the coast. Uh, so hopefully everybody will be kept safe today um, from uh, the storm and its uh, consequences and things like that. Um, in today's uh, readings, uh, we continue with the story of Joseph and his brothers. The, uh, once the brothers have gone to Egypt uh, and they have encountered him, but not realizing that it is him, uh, Joseph, in asking uh, for the youngest brother, Benjamin, to stay behind, uh, the brothers plead with him not to do that because uh, he is the youngest um, and one of the most loved of, uh, of um Jacob and uh, and uh, to lose another son uh, as he lost uh, his son Joseph would be too much for their uh, father to bear. It's then that Joseph reveals himself to be Joseph, the one that they sold into slavery. Um, and rather than um, exacting some kind of revenge or vengeance upon them or retribution upon them, um, she tells them uh, that you're selling me into slavery allowed me to be able now to help you and to help many people through this famine. Again, the way that God turns darkness into light, the way that God turns death into life, the way that God turns misfortune um, into uh, wonderful ways of, um, of openness um, and care and achievement and success and victory. Um, only God can do these things. Um, and it happens uh, because God is the one who directs our lives to remember that, to, to, to live that, to embrace that. Um, in the gospel, uh, Jesus, again, after calling the 12 together, now sends them forth uh, two by two and gives them the message, again, of proclaiming the kingdom of God, of telling people how the kingdom shows itself um, in basically curing people, raising uh, people up, uh, making the sick well, uh, bringing back dignity uh, to others. And um, again, he says, you go to a house, you stay there, uh, you, you eat what's put in front of you, uh, do not worry about any kind of regulations or anything like that. Um, but if the house or the town does not welcome you, uh, then you shake the sandals, they shake the dust from your sandals, um, and again, it's, it's in uh, judgment against them. And the chilling last lines, it will be better for Sodom and Gomorrah uh, than it will be for that town that rejects the proclamation of the reign of God being at hand. Um, we, to remember again, are those who now carry on that mission of the apostles. We are the ones uh, to bring this kingdom, news of this kingdom, um, alive to others. Uh, people, again, who demonstrate and show how God turns death into life, how God turns darkness into light, how God brings hope and healing out of the most dire and tragic of circumstances. Um, this is what we believe. This is what we hold dear. This is what makes us believers in this world and what gives strength and, and, um, and, and, and support and life uh, to the mission that we have as believers in this world. We are not passive recipients uh, of, of the gospel. We are not passive recipients of the love and the forgiveness of Christ. We are people who are meant to put that reality of love and forgiveness um, into action through words and deeds that allow others to experience the wonder and beauty of God's care for us. And may the Lord give you his peace.